right, everybody, welcome back. We're here to Glimwood Tango with the Glimwood Tango. We're leading on Clay Doll because he deserves to see some light of day. He, she, I actually have no idea. Does Clay Doll have a gender? We'll find out shortly. I totally forgot last episode, but now, as as of last episode, in real time, I have a YouTube channel. I didn't have a YouTube channel until last episode, uh, in filming order, anyway. I'm Critnik. It's a name that I relate to heavily because I get critted all the freaking time in Pokemon, and in real life, and probably in D&D too, if that's a thing. I don't play D&D yet, but I plan to one day. Now, it's very exciting to have a YouTube channel because I have had like 15,000 before that, but they've never been me. Uh, and I was thinking about this the other day. They've never really been just like me doing a thing. It's been like, oh, you gotta have this crazy name and you gotta do crazy things. This guy's like Grass Fairy or something. We should be okay. Ooh, I've been, geez, I mean, I've had so many YouTube channels that I've either shared with friends or that I've made on my own. And they never had my name in it. Let's see if I could go chronologically, because I've had a lot. I've had Laxy444555, L-A-X-Y. You can look that up. That's the oldest. That thing's... That, that, ugh, that channel's old. The audio on it is horrible. It's so funny. And the video, too. Everything's so bad because it was shot with a webcam. Uh, then we had Leafburn12, where I posted a lot of garbage. Just like... Just, like, pretty much vomit everywhere. Just anything I could think of and put into micro or Windows Movie Maker. That's just kind of what happened. After that, it gets a little hazy. We made... I had Donkey Slide with my friends. It was just, like, they all liked Rooster Teeth. And then we were like, what is a animal and then a thing? Donkey Slide. I think that channel's still up. We have a few videos on it. I don't, they're not good at all. Oh, let's go! Jeez, his special attacks would be nuts when he evolves. That's exciting. I made The Bits. I think there's a few videos on there. The Bits, gaming, The Bits, I don't remember. What else do I have? Game Boo Advance is really new. I made that with a friend a little while ago. The only one that ever really picked up any traction was the Mario Superstar Baseball NP channel which i still run by the way we've been we're on the off season right now we're picking up at the end of january this might come out at the end of january so that might be perfect uh but yeah mario superstar baseball np look that up we play mario superstar baseball for the gamecube and it's really fun uh by the time this is airing probably we will have had our meetup which is really, really cool. We're doing a meetup with uh, our fans because a bunch of them live like kind of close to here to where me and uh, me and my roommate are from. So they're going to come to my roommate's house and we're going to just play Mario Baseball. And I'm so excited about it. Do we have HP ceiling moves anymore? Sylveon does. Sylveon's holding the shell bell. But we could just put the shell bell on Pangoro because he's not holding anything yet. I can't wait till Dino and Thwacky are like parts of our team. I feel like... At least Dino evolves, like, mad late, which kind of stinks. Uh, Zard. We don't really want to use them yet. They're, I mean, they're close, but they're not caught up. I want to check Zard's special attack, because it's probably not... Yeah, 96. His, like, sp attacks aren't anything to write home about. Special attack's fine. But, like, his defenses are so good, and I think that's what we want in a run like this. He's not bad. His health is really high. Yeah, I mean, our team's looking pretty solid so far. Without these guys, like, we are pretty high level. Uh, we're just looking good. I want these guys to catch up. I don't know when Dino evolves. Hopefully, eventually. I don't think that that's going to happen, though. Man, I hope it's not 54 like I'm thinking it is. It really might be. Are we really going to tow around a Dino until level 54? Until... But even before that, 64? He'll... Like, he'll barely be that by the end of the game. Why am I doing that? Kind of, like, screw it, I guess. May as well, if I'm already this far. Uh, we're not taking anything crazy from these guys, right? Ninetales has ghost moves sometimes, but I think that's okay. We are not a dragon type, so that's okay there. Let's hit Curly with Air Slash. We might just be strong enough to one-shot it, because Curly's defense sucks, as we had to learn in the faded episode 
which I can't remember which episode it was, but man, the thing's defense is garbage. That almost killed. Yeah, see, his his specials aren't his special attacks not crazy, but it does the job or it will do the job. Charizard just moves first. It's fine. I think Charizard's gonna become an MVP really quick. He's just strong. Charizard and Pangoro, the boys. Yes, they are both boys. Okay, yeah, Claydol doesn't have a gender. But the rest of my team is all boys. It's boys club. That's what I say every time I see, like, some of my male co-workers just, like, circled up chatting. I'm like, yo, is this boys club? And then I hop into the conversation. <laughs> I don't know if they like it, but I don't care. It's really funny. Hello. The fifth gym is fairy, so maybe we should be preparing for that with our training. What's good against fairy? Poison and steel? Uh, we don't have that, so we're just gonna have to go beast. This guy's a psychic normal type. I remember because we had one for two seconds. So play nice. Y'all like Toy Story? Me and Bonnie, my girlfriend, we were watching Toy Story because she's never seen, she didn't see them like growing up. So we've been going through the, like, it's not a trilogy anymore. Geez, the quadrilogy. I don't know if that's the right word, but we've been going through them. Uh, and we just watched three a couple days ago when she visited, as you know about, because she, uh, she was on the mic with me on one of the last couple episodes. Yeah, we were watching Toy Story 3, and, like, I remember it being sad, so I was like, alright, I'm prepared to be upset by the end of this movie. I could not have prepared myself for how much I cried, and she was, we were both just, like, a disaster we were both just sobbing by the end of it like the last the whole last 15 minutes like them like spoilers for toy story 3 skip in a little if you don't want it spoiled <laughs> but uh it's 10 years old surprisingly so you have probably seen it or don't care at this point but at the end or towards the end they're like heading down like a garbage like fire so they're about to get killed or whatever. And then they get saved. So that part's, like, super emotional because they, like, ex literally accept death. But, and that's definitely the part that had me crying, like, the first time I saw it. Because I was like, my friends are gonna die. Um, but that part just made me sad. It didn't, like, make me cry. But uh, the part that really made me cry was when Andy brings the toys to... Bonnie. Ironic that Bonnie is my girlfriend and in Toy Story. Same person. Is this the way out? There's still, like, stuff to do in here. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. Unless there's... Nope, 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 nope. The last, like, five, ten minutes of the movie, Andy, like, goes to Bonnie's house and gives her all of his, his old toys. And just, like, I guess growing up with all those characters... May, it just made me really sad to watch that scene because I was like, I have done that. I I mean, I didn't drive over to someone's house that barely knows me and give their kid my toys. But I have had to say goodbye to a lot of my toys or just, you know, put them away in general because I don't... Just like Andy, because he was going to college, I don't play with my toys anymore. So, I don't know. Just that, like, passing of the torch really got me. I don't know. It got me real good, too. Um, and then we went through my old, like, childhood toys. And that was very cute and touching. Um, and she was laughing. Bonnie was... Girlfriend Bonnie, not Toy Story Bonnie. Was laughing a ton at my... One of my toys. So I told her the story. I said... I had this stuffed monkey. Like, it was a puppet. But it was a stuffed animal. Oh... Do we run into Morgrim? Hello, baby. I had this stuffed monkey. His name was Donkey Kong. Still is. He still exists. This is a high level. Goodness. What's he gonna do? He can't hurt us. He's dark, so Psychic's not gonna do anything. Oh, he... Wait, he's dark. You know, I should really stop being so stupid all the time. Listen, my defense is good enough to live whatever he's got. Oh, I can't. You're right. Thanks. We're fine. See? So this toy, Donkey Kong the stuffed animal he is missing or was okay let me start over so i've had him since a very young age my cousin gave him to me like one of my favorite cousins uh when i was little he gave me this stuffed monkey and it was awesome and i loved it and i 
just like this was my favorite thing i slept with it i cherished it it was great why i don't know why those don't affect me torment and swagger and stuff it's weird uh maybe they had to be higher level or something i don't really know the rules we didn't want to be using pangoro but fine i had a dog who was a menace his name was Emmett. he always wanted to chew on that stuffed animal and he was like voracious once he got his grips on something it was done like he was gonna tear this thing to pieces and one day i was at school and i came home and lo and behold donkey kong's whole face was ripped off it was like it had like a plastic face and like a plush body so yeah i literally just like i'm pretty sure i just sobbed for like the rest of the day and probably just for the rest of like a few days after that it was bad um, but my mom, saint, the saint she is, she bought another stuffed monkey with a face similar to his and s sewed it on to Donkey Kong. So he, ha he does not have the face that he used to. And I definitely stopped sleeping with him after that because I thought it was like creepy that he had a different face, but it, the, the, the thought was really there. It was very kind. I couldn't ever look at Donkey Kong the same again. I I wrote a sentence for my school assignment because we had to write about opposites. And I wrote something super dramatic and my mom still has the... Oh, that's creepy. Hey, don't interrupt us. My mom still has the page saved and I just saw it the other day because we were talking about it. it. I had to write opposites and I was like, let me do this fancy one, but I'm also really sad. So what did I say? I was like... My happiness is closed and my sadness is opened for real. <laughs> and the teacher, my t my first grade teacher, uh, I guess she like called my mom and like contacted the school psychiatrist because I was just so torn up about this little monkey. And I still am. This guy's going to hit us with a bug move, but it'll be fine. Oh, never mind. Man, we're just going to do no damage. He's just going to set up the other screen, too, so who cares? He's a dotler. We'll, be, we'll just hit him with a flamethrower. That'll be fine. And that was my tragedy. And I tried to save the other monkey that she took the face off of because Toy Story gave me so much, I guess, empathy? Yeah, sympathy, empathy for these toys. And I really felt like they were, like, like alive and stuff. It was so, so sad to see this other monkey with his face ripped off. So you know what I did? I took it and I put a rock behind its, like, where the face was, and then I put a face on the rock. And I kept it for a little bit, but eventually I think I was just like, happiness is dead and nobody deserves to be happy anymore. I'm being dramatic and that's not what I said because I was way too young, but I definitely threw it away because it was just, it was just wasn't working out anymore. All right, we got the Aviolite, but... You know what? It it will be useful on Dino. Let's put him on him. Also, I'm gonna freak out if it's Dino because naming a Pokemon Dino is really bad. I feel like Dino is not a good member of our team and will not be for a really long time. We might want to exchange him for somebody. We don't have Electric. Rotom can turn to water in the eighth gym or at the town of the eighth gym. What are we missing? We have a Fighting Dark. Ground Psychic, Fire Flying, Fairy, Grass. Ghost Electric's kind of cool. We could try Rotom. Just let him level up a bit. You know what? Let's take him out of here. So let's, uh, let's, let's play with Rotom for a little bit. He'll just, like, be chilling in the back. We really don't have much, like, super effective against Psychic. So we might just have to, or I'm sorry, Fairy. We might just have to go in and say, Hello, I am Clay Doll. You lose. That should just be fine. All right, we're all healed up. And I guess if they let us into the gym, which I think they do, we're just going to do the gym. I figured this would just be the Glimwood Tangle episode. But listen, if we can beat the gym, we're just going to do it. Do you want to battle? Again. Don't tell me you actually like Chloe. Does Marnie not like me? Oh, okay, she's not going to challenge us now that's fine i'll see you later what did that look huh yeah yeah we are rivals i'm gonna beat you down are you telling me there's not that many gym challengers left what do you mean we're only up to number five gym five did they all get kicked out by now i think the way they did gyms in here is really cool that it's like a tournament it's unique 
it changes up the gym formula, but it still keeps badges and gym leaders and whatnot. I like the island challenges, but they felt a little shallow in Sun and Moon. I guess I don't remember them too well, but I remember some of them were like not that good. It's been a long time since I played Sun and Moon. I tried to play Ultra Sun. It was too boring because it was exactly the same as Sun and Moon. And I think I had just finished Wonderlocking Moon. Did I do that? Did I Nuzlocke Moon? I might have. I don't even remember, honestly. <laughs> Did you just say lacking pink? My hair is pink. Are you freaking me? All right, I remember some of these answers because some of them are just jank. Unless there's some where you can't get it right either way. When she asked my favorite color, I noticed, or her favorite color, I noticed say purple. Because she likes pink on other people. Let the gym mission begin. This is so funny. Is that bead? <laughs> it looks like bead. I really hope we get, like, Sword and Shield 2. Either a third, or, like, a third game, or, like, sequels. Because seeing bead and Marnie as gym leaders would be awesome. Black 2, white 2 were brilliant. Yeah, that was more than half. Hey, you have sidekick? Relax. I wonder how much experience... Oh! I do. It's either one, buddy. I don't remember exactly what I was saying. I really like that Black 2 and White 2 took us, like, two years later and added to the story. And your rivals from the... From Black and White were, like the gym leader, and, like, a researcher, respectively. That was super cool. Thwacky's one level away from evolving. Okay, Rotom went up ten levels. That's pretty good. Oh, my God. It's my favorite Pokemon. That's not a joke. I don't know if I've said that before, but Slurpuff is really one of my favorites. I love him so much. He's so cute. This one's a she. I love Slurpuff. Yeah, I'll rattle off some of my favorite Pokemon, because you asked. Slurpuff and Swirlix, like, definitely. Heracross, I really love. I love Litwick. Joltik. A lot of Gen 5s. I just like the cute ones. I remember, like, as a kid, my neighbor would, like, never evolve his Pokemon because he liked when they were cute. And I was like, that's dumb. You should evolve them because they get cooler and strong. And now I'm on the cute, like, path. I'm down for the cuteness. Minchino. Minchino used to be my favorite Pokemon, and then Swirlix came out. Speak of the freaking devil, by the way. Look at him. Oh, I want to give him a kiss on the nose. He's so cute. Flinch. What does this even do? My Spideff? What was the previous trainer's name? Oh, I don't remember. Okay. Who? Wait, who's asking me the question? Is the... I think the lady across from me. My, my opponent's asking me the questions. Because I just saw her mouth move. I always used to think it was Opal from, like, the judges thing. Question, Geary. <laughs> Her nose is so big. Opal's nose is like a handle. Maybe that's the point. Maybe she put, she's supposed to look like a teapot. Aroma Tees. See, how could you get one Pokemon so right in Slurpuff and Swirlix and then get the other, like, adjacent one so wrong? That was a lot of health. Can you not do that, please? So let's just do it. Hope this guy doesn't pull out any garbage. Special defense falls. Yeah, he's not sucking us anymore. He's not sucking us. Alright, we'll go for one more earth power. That should be it. Sweet. I forget how many trainers there are. Three, four, maybe more. Five, six pickup sticks. The level curve in this game is so good. Oh my guys are so strong. The EXP share was good. And I will stick by that. Because... Grinding is not that fun. I've been grinding a ton in Black 2. And it's alright because I've been doing it when I've been like watching something or on break at work. So it's pretty like low maintenance stuff. But grinding's not that fun. This game doesn't make you grind that much. A Nuzlocke might because if we lose one of our big boys, that kind of sucks. But this is not a good Pokemon to be in against. Especially... When we don't have that much health. Pangoro doesn't want to take a fairy move. Sylveon's just the best bet. Oh, you know what? I know that... And we're confused. That's not good. What do you eat for breakfast every morning? You eat omelets. Duh. Oh, yeah, okay. It is our opponent asking us. Our defense. Special defense rise. So hopefully we could take anything that this guy hits us with. And we hit through it. Nice. Do we get him? 
Nice. Yeah, I was watching my friends run, and Grimmsnarl knew Iron Tail. And that's terrifying, because that just takes out any fairy you could even imagine. He thought he had a safe switch, and then that happened. Speaking of safe switch, uh, blah, blah, blah. we're not going to switch out. Bite will be neutral. Swift is our strongest option. What's this guy going to do against us? He shouldn't have steel moves. He Yeah, also, like, the other guy upped our special attack. Yeah, we're fine. For some reason, I thought Reflect was Miracle, and I got really scared. Because we would kind of just die. Unless my health is crazier. I guess, I don't know. That would just suck. I was about to make claims about Gardevoir's defense in Miracle, but I don't think that's how it works. Rotom wants to learn Electro Ball. That's a good move, especially on Rotom. Oh my god, his speed is 53 already. He's going to catch up quick. Even if he's not high level, his since he's like a, a one-stage Pokemon, his stats are going to be up to par real quick. I play a strong trainer. I'm a method actor. Is that the gimmick here? Your actors? I don't think that's what it is. Oh! Let's go! Okay! Sweet! I totally forgot that the starters evolve at 35. Or at least... Or at least... <laughs> at least wacky. At least Thwacky does. Welcome to the team, Rillaboom. You're actually, like, a valid member now. He's 6'11". He's hot. Holy crap. He wants to learn drum beating. Yeah, that moves crazy. And just like that, we have a good member of the team. Branch Poke is too cute to get rid of. I will follow in the footsteps of my friend who kept Branch Poke for all time. Drum beating. Yeah, Rillaboom's gonna be good. If he's level 35, he's pretty much up to par with the rest of the team. Also, gyms like 4 and 5 are so close to each other. Most of the gyms are kind of close to each other now. Alright, we're gonna heal. Alright, we win! Congratulations! Yeah, that wasn't that hard. Yes, I would really like to challenge her right now. I'm ready. And I'm very excited. I feel like I didn't finish my thought before about Black 2 compared to Ultra Sun. If you're gonna do a second game, do it right. Black 2, White 2, brilliant. Like, listen, Black and White had good stories, so it already had that going for it. Black 2, White 2 expanded upon it, made it better. Sun and Moon didn't have an excellent story, and they didn't add much to it, I don't think. I actually never beat Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But, like, the two years later thing, like the time jump, perfect. It was so good. It was so smart. And we've never gotten a sequel since. X and Y didn't even get sequels, which is crazy. I really thought it would. Did you know Opal's 88 years old? I think we're supposed to tell her she's 16 when she asks, though. Oh, is this guy Poison Fairy? Well, sorry, pal. You're going to die. Probably immediately, yeah. Alright. Rotom is catching up quick. Rillaboom's level 35. Mawile. What is Mawile? Steel Fairy. Oh, we have Ground. Yeah, okay. We're gonna... Jeez, Claydol was like the perfect pick for this, actually. Do I know your nickname? I actually do not. It's probably this. What the freak? What... What did I even guess? I don't even remember what I guessed. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. Wait! Okay. That's not Stab, so we're fine. That was scary. I forgot about the giant mouth on Mawile. That could crunch. Good thing Mawile is a terrible Pokemon. Outside of its Mega that doesn't exist anymore. Skill swap is... No, we don't want that. What's next? Togekiss. Togekiss can learn some... Like, a lot of moves. But Ancient Power should just put it in the dirt. What is her ace? I don't remember. I think we could just Dynamax, though. And we could probably just tank whatever ace she has. Let's go... Big... Clay Doll! Wait, Clay Doll's just like Toy Story. Oh my god. It's like Toy Story. It's a doll come to life. Holy shit. Ooh, he... Clay Doll's just looking at Togekiss like... Ugh. Oh, Serene Grace? Come on, flinch me, you bastard. Nope. And a Sandstorm. I feel like we should heal. No, we're not gonna... Even a crit won't kill us. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, I, th I, I always get confused between Air Slash and... Whatever the other one is. Air Cutter. Maybe. One of them has a higher crit chance, one of them has a flinch chance. Sca you want to learn Scary Face at level 39? Sweet. T-Wave is good for catching Pokemon. It's good in general. Yeah, why don't we keep... God, Astonish is so bad. Keep Thundershock as 
An okay damaging move. Confuse Ray is not bad. All right, who's race? I forget. Is it Grimmsnarl? My morning tea is finally kicking in and not a moment too soon. It's Alchemy. Wait, Alchemy sucks. We're fine. We... Yeah, we should heal. What's your favorite color? It's purple. I remember. What is our stat boost? Defense and special defense. Oh my god, we're so fine. It's ridiculous. Oh, uh, oh, the theme is so hype. That wasted our last turn of Dynamax. Well, we get to watch her make a cake into a big cake. I wish that the Gigantamax Pokemon were more accessible through, like... Or at least just, like, turning regular Pokemon into Gigantamax Pokemon. Like, if I had an Alchemy that I caught on Route 2 or Route 4 or whatever, and I wanted to make it into a Gigantamax, you can't. Which is sad. You lack pink! It's in my hair, you're such an ass! G-Max Finale, what does that do? Oh, absolutely nothing. Great. Oh, also, doesn't, like, Sandstorm boost our special defense anyway? Isn't our special defense, like, really stupid right now? I think it is. I think we just go for the... Extra Sensory. I mean, wait, no, we'll go for the Earth Power because it's stronger. G-Max Finale again. That move stinks, remember? Oh, it's like a suck move. Cool. That should lower... Can we... We can lower their stats when they're... Maxed, right? I don't think Earth Power has a chance. Oh, it does have a chance. Don't... Cr Yo, I'll kill you. Oh, my teeth were so gritted right there. That was terrifying. I think that was turn three of her Gigantamax, I think. Yep. Cool. I don't know that we want to not heal. That seems kind of bad. We'll go into Sylveon just in case, because I don't feel like getting hit by something and having Claydol die. I don't also don't feel like healing him. We'll let Sylveon get a taste of the action. Sylveon's level 40. Yeah, and once again, we're only two levels ahead of her. You're 16. <laughs> I like your answer. That's so funny. My attack and special attack. Oh my god. Yeah, you're going to die. Probably. Pixelate gives a stab. Sweet kiss. Does that confuse us? Yeah. We'll be alright. Hit through it. Hit through it, baby. Nice. I was going to say, I don't want another repeat of the old days when my Pokemon didn't obey me. That, those, those were the good old days. As of now, we don't have any evolutions left on our team. If we lose someone, then we'll have evolutions coming, but now we don't. Did you just throw your umbrella or cane, whatever you had? <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> she was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take your time. I thought she was trying to walk over to us. Well, good try. Not bad, not bad at all. Still not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. Oh, when you bug out about bead. I love that scene. Pink! Pink! God, look at that freaking nose. The nose is intense. Five badges deep, baby. Congratulations, us. Catch Pokemon level 45. Take this TM. Dragon Kiss is a good move. I don't think that many Pokemon can learn it, but... At least one's on my team. Oh, I like that she gives us the stuff. Like, right on the pitch. And then, yeah, in the in the sequel, Opal could be dead. <laughs> Alright, well, we have a cutscene to do. What's up, Op? I've got a few errands to run. Yeah, you know what? You can fast, fast transport us to Hammerlock. I'm in. That's pretty cool. Always such a dusty town. Alright, well, great. We have, we are five badges in. We are making great progress. Our team is a little stacked. You know, Rotom still needs some work, but he's on his way. All right, we have all boys and then two non-binary folk. So it's still, is boys club, kinda. Do we have like any girls in our box? Yeah, okay. Oh, geez, like almost everything. Half of the stuff we have is box. That's box is a girl. I'm not sexist, the boys are just better. Wait. That didn't come out right. All right, anyway, until next time, we will go to the sixth gym. Ooh, having Rotom caught up by then would be really good because that Lapras is a pain in the hiney. All right, until next time, everybody, take it easy.